Hi everyone, welcome to FA channel. Um, today I wanted to use this avatar to talk to you guys. Let her talk in front of camera instead of me. Because when I started this channel, I was telling myself maybe some of the days I don't really want to show my face. I'm not feeling like talking in front of camera. Why not use avatar to do it? So today I want to talk about how we make this avatar and how we set up everything. So we use Vroid. If you are wondering what kind of software you can use for avatar, uh, we had another video. You can click on the link in the description. So I've always wanted hair with purple color. So we designed this color. We uh, on Vroid you have a lot of freedom to create your own avatar. And the most fun part is you can almost like join yourself. So uh, we draw the hair and you can make the hair thicker or thin, long or short, different colors, different layers. It's so much fun. And another thing we've done is putting our logo, this channel's logo, Future is Now, on the t-shirt. That's also a cool design concept you can use. If you have a slogan you want to put on a t-shirt, if you want some colors you like, a design you've done, it's a great way to represent that on your avatar's fashion piece. And you can also buy different clothes online. It's not that expensive. Um, at this point, we choose a simple t-shirt just to show how uh, we can use this as minimal budget as possible. After you create your avatar, you can export it as VRM file. VRM file, then you can import to different software to do what I'm doing right now, tracking my face when I'm talking. And uh, the software we're using at this moment that we want to talk about is called 310 and Pro. It's around 25 bucks. There are uh, other free software you can use at this point. I'm using this software and I want to tell you guys how we've done it. So once you uh, open this, download this software and you open it, 310 Pro, you can search online and then you can see this uh, default avatar. So I'm not using this one if you don't want to use this. You can also use the default one. There's no problem about that. But I think different people have different um, preference about what kind of avatar they like, what kind of style they like. So with this uh, software, you can click on the file avatar part and import your own avatar. And you, there are so many different settings you can try. There's a VR system, so many settings you can try. There's different languages you can try and you can play around and see what kind you like. There are a couple of, some of the, we can go through a couple of them and let you guys see. So the information, it's here. Uh, you can also change the light source. The light source, you can see how the background can change the shadows, can make it maybe if you want to post on a uh, post like really cool video or a training video or uh, a presentation you can play around with that too okay so now as a face part so there are also kind of like how you head react how sensitive your uh, reaction is like now I'm waving my head you can see is tracking pretty well at this moment we're not really tracking our body action because you have to scan your whole body to do that um, apparently with the new like iPhone 12 Pro with the, the sen new sensor you can track pretty easily in the future we'll update what we do with the body tracking so at this moment it's just the head with the face um, I like how I really like how I like when I blink you can see the avatar is blinked too. And the, right now what we did with uh, the sound sync, so you can choose, I think you can choose with the lip or sound. We kind of like the sound part because it's 
seems more sensitive with that. You can try with that too. So this M tune is uh, about like, I think it's the edge of the, sometimes you can make your avatar look more cartoonish. Sometimes you can make it more sharp and the edge more sharp is more real. So it really depends on how you like it. You can definitely play around more and see what kind of um, visuals you want your audience to, to, to see. Mm, this is avatar operation method. So at this moment, I'm using my Mac. So apparently Mac doesn't really go well with VR. So some of the options not working. Even with this recording option, with Windows, I can record right away. But with um, Mac, seems like I can only do it uh, in the post at this moment. So now you can track. See, you, you have this start tracking, just click everything, all this start, start, and then you can uh, face track, body track, lip sync. Make sure you see this button on the right with the, the little camera. If your head is like moving, not attracting your, your head easily, then just click that button and you can reset right away. So that's really cool. You now can see my face. I'm like trying to track my voice. It's really fun. Okay. Another fun part I like, set a background part. You can put custom color. You also can add image. For example, this one we try to add image of our logo. Cool. So the resolution is good. Uh, I think it's a great thing to do. Like it's, it's really fun to put any image you want and also videos you want. Um, if you want to do a stream, live talk, this is a great way to do it. There are a couple things I suggest you guys uh, to do is first of all is the higher sensibility. So right now I find I don't really have to yell at myself. I don't have to open my mouth very big to see. See when I talk fast, I, my mouth moving pretty fast. I like, I really like how sensitive this software can make it, can make this, um, tracking and then uh, you can use lip or sound I like the sound one it's like doesn't really track how your lips moving more about how your voice um, giving the sound and it gives this avatar of flexibility the, the avatar definitely have the flexibility to uh, talk and I, I don't know why I feel I feel this is really very real. I don't know if you remember the first couple of video I was talking about uh, this Alice in Wonderland um, virtual reality experience. So the other day they have a live stream in the virtual reality. This host is talking with people who have the ticket to go to virtual reality experience, and I think we will try to develop a experience in the future with my avatar to have a talk in the virtual gallery we're building right now and please please stay tuned and we'll keep you updated how we do it hopefully this is a helpful video for you and let me know if you have any questions Thanks for watching guys and hope you have fun with the video and please subscribe to our channel. I will see you next time.